We're busting myths. <laughs> going on everybody welcome to another episode of between two money trees actually the first episode ironically enough i don't have any money do you none and with me to my left possibly your right is david from smart fitness and today we're going to be doing a taste testing video basically trying eight different sample packs from canadian protein we've got chocolate milkshake strawberry banana birthday cake canadian maple Banana cream, chocolate peanut butter, cappuccino, and salted caramel. <laughs> you wrote a different flavor down here. It's a special <laughs> one, if you know what I mean. So what we're going to do, we're both going to try it. We'll give it a rating. Out of 10, we'll say what it tastes like. And then in between, we'll take a sip of normal water, clean our palates, cleanse it, if you will, and then go to the next one. You know, you're making this very sophisticated, but uh, I'll take that one. So this first one is chocolate milkshake. So give it a quick little shake a This one here smelled really good when we were making it. Yeah, I've had it before. It tastes pretty good. So uh, I'll try it. A little chunky still. Yeah, I didn't do the best job shaking it, but uh, overall, pretty good. Pretty good. Rank it now or rank it later? We'll rank it now. We've got a pen here with us to write it down out of 10. I'd give that a seven and a half. And the other is seven. I'm not a huge fan of chocolate, to be honest. All right, so 7.5 and seven out of 10. Uh, yeah, it's your basic chocolate, kind of what you expect to taste. Nothing really special about it. it has a kind of like a weird aftertaste to the end to it. Not really like aspartame-y, but eh. It's not like all protein powders though. Yeah. All right, we'll uh, give ourselves a little cleanse. Should we cheer off on this one? Cheers. <laughs> This is a uh, salted caramel. All right. It smelled terrible opening it up. Just yeah, the smell right now it, it it smells like caramel. It smells like what caramel smells. Yeah, look like. how chunky this is. That's disgusting. Bro, get over you it. You did a terrible job. No, I, mine looks fine. Okay, let's sample. All right. I like that. That's good. It's really yeah. sweet. Really sweet. So maybe. Yeah. Maybe if you're doing a full cup, like 250 milliliters, 500 milliliters, one teaspoon at most. Yeah, yeah, I'd say like half, uh, half a serving, or like half a teaspoon. Um, I'd give that an eight. Eight? Yeah. Yo, I think I'd give it an eight too. Yeah? That'd okay. Good. All right, let's clean ourselves with our water. Not really any weird aftertaste after that one though. Mm -hmm. All right, next up is strawberry banana. This one here. I want to try it. I figured it'd be good for a nice summer's day. Yeah. To be honest, it smells kind of funky. Like, it, it smells like a uh, overly ripe banana and strawberry. You know what it smells like? It smells like the anti, not histamines, but like the medication you get. Antibiotics as a kid, yes. Yeah, yeah. It reminds me it of It kind that. of tastes like that too. Yeah. No. Eh, I'd give it like a six. Yeah, yeah. I think it would be good with ice cream. Yeah, but at that point, you might as well just use frozen strawberries. Like a smoothie, you know? Yeah, yeah. Maybe it'd be better with milk. All right, a little bit of water. All right, what's next? The aftertaste. Yeah, that one did have a strong aftertaste. Wow. Uh, next one up is my personal favorite, cappuccino. Not to be biased or whatsoever, but I do drink a lot of coffee myself, so... Bottoms up! Mm. I give that a 9. That's, that's delicious. That's crisp. Smells better than it tastes, though. You have to admit it. Yeah. Next up is birthday cake. Mmm. I'm told that this one smelled disgusting in the bag by uh, Rico here. That, it honestly it did. Why do you give me the chunky ones? Bro, mine's chunky as well. Get over yourself. It doesn't really smell like anything. It just kind of like smells like it's there. But I don't know how to describe it. Okay, let's try her. Ugh. I don't know how to explain this. Either way, I'm giving it a, like a 
four. It's like really thick. Yeah, it's thick. It tastes kind of like a shortbread cookie that's been liquid with like the sprinkles on top. Mm, I, um, like, is that what you said? Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm giving that a four. Yeah, four, four and a half. All right, we'll give him a 4.5. I'm not even gonna finish it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next on the list is what? Chocolate peanut butter? Chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate peanut yeah, butter. Yeah, have this one. All right, extra chunky. Made sure to give me that one. Now we've had this one from Canadian Protein before. Can't complain, pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. You did a terrible job staring. Bro, <laughs> I get, took a, get over yourself. I Bottom took a fork up. and literally just shook it. Good. I feel like the quality's gone down a bit. It tastes worse than I remember. I like it. It's overpowering with peanut butter in comparison to chocolate, though. Well, peanut butter is a strong flavor in general, though. Always. I'd give it a seven and a half. Yeah, I'd say seven and a half. Seven what about you? Um, I'd give it an eight. I, I like it. It's pretty good. All right, next up. Whoa, whoa! Well, I gotta water myself. All right, water yourself, my boy. Next up, we've got Canadian maple. I've had this one before as well. I have not. It's, uh, it's not bad. It smelled really good opening up this one. Yeah, like it actually smells like pure maple syrup. Not to be confused with the uh, knockoff brands, you know. This is a legitimate Canadian maple from the maple trees of Canada. Well, I mean, like, a. it's technically a knockoff. It's a powder. Bro. All right, maple, let's do this. Mm. That's really strong. Yeah, I don't know if it's because I've had so much protein powder already. Like we tried to quarter scoop everything, but like, there's a lot now. Yeah, you're only doing like an eighth of a teaspoon. Yeah, for flavor packs, but I'd give it a seven. It's still good. I don't know if I can drink this on a regular basis. No, this is like a when you're feeling festive. Reminds me of eggnog. I don't know why. It does not remind me of eggnog. I'm giving that a seven. Or maybe it's the birthday cake. Yeah, the birthday cake is gross. I give it the, uh, you know, let me have another sip. <clears throat> when it's stirred more, it tastes better, so I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. All right, Rico's giving it a seven and a half. Mm -hmm. Last one, home stretch. You made it this far in the video? We salute you. Next up is the cream of the pies, the banana cream pie. All right, let's end this on a strong note. Let's hope it actually tastes good. Thanks. You're welcome. Ooh, this is extra chunky. Bro, mine's got no chunks. What are you talking about? That looks fine. Bro. Okay, let's do this. It's creamy, it tastes like banana. It's kind of what you'd expect, but... Also tastes like medicine. Yeah. Yeah, it also tastes like kids' antibiotics. Those With an fun. aftertaste. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming strawberry banana is just strawberry added to the banana cream, so like that makes sense. Yeah. I'm giving it a six. Mm, I'm giving it a five. All right. So six and a five. So we've got chocolate milkshake. We gave it an average of a 7.25 out of 10. Strawberry banana, it's got a six out of 10. Birthday cake, a 4.25 out of 10. Canadian maple, 7.25. Banana cream, yeah, about a five and a half. Chocolate peanut butter, 7.75. And cappuccino, giving a solid nine. And salted caramel, giving an eight. So with that in mind, the winner is clearly the cappuccino. But again, you're a caffeinated freak, and well, I, am. I enjoy yeah. cappuccino. We do not recommend birthday cake. Unfortunately not, but that does not mean that you will not enjoy it. And on that note, ladies and gents, stay strong. Follow us on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs>